853 and this weekend is the boat show, but this weekend the Javits Center is also going to the dogs and some cats. Absolutely. So 200 different dog and cat breeds will descend on the Javits for the Meet the Breeds event. What is that? Well, this year there's some really special standouts and here to talk about the event is Brandy Hunter from the American Kennel Association. For folks who haven't been to this, tell us what's it Morning. all about. It's family friendly, right? It's very family friendly. So what it is, it's kind of convention style, but we like to call it an educational pet extravaganza. Oh. And what that means is you can come you can meet, pet, and play with over 200 breeds of dogs and cats. Oh, that's you awesome. You can find out what life is like with them. You can find out how to get one if you're interested in the particular breed. And there's a ton of demonstrations from obedience to agility to canine demonstrations with the New York City Police Department. So we have a lot to see and do. Okay, so the AKSC just approved two new breeds mm -hmm. to compete at the Westminster Dog Show. We have them in our studio this morning. So what can you tell us about first the Bar Bay? And come on out, guys. Well, the Bar Bay is one of them. The Dogo Argentino <laughs> is the other one that's Hi. not here today. Yeah. And they'll be at Westminster okay. next year. So they just came into recognition. Okay. This is a water dog that's originally from France. They are lively. They and they're are, related, right? They are. And this is Koji. And this is Tallulah. Oh, and they're very lively, spirited. They do great with families and kids. They don't require a ton of grooming. <laughs> just a little bit of brushing to make sure they don't get matted. Right. They've got great personalities and very intelligent breeds. What so are they we're, a mix of? They're not a mix of oh, anything. They're, they're their are, own, yeah. They are a, a purebred, so they are not a mix of anything. And they round Ooh. us out at 195 recognized breeds, so we're really excited to have them and see them compete in the ring. Beautiful dog. I love it. Okay, you All guys right. want to move on to yeah, the... Yeah, you got uh, the Pumi, right? Yeah, from Hungary. Yes, we Hi do guys. have a Pumi. Her name is Zsa <laughs> They're playing. They're Come here, Zsa Oh, my gosh. Look at Zsa ears. Look at her ears. Hey, yes, Zsa -Zsa. so the Pumi is from Hungary. They are a herding dog. They are a breed that does not shed because of their wonderful coat. What's up? Jaja's been with us quite a bit, so she's a veteran. They have a great personality. The they ear. A <laughs> lot of stimulation mentally and physically to be really, really happy. Mm -hmm. But once you get them going, it's hard to get them stopping. I and mean, they do come in a variety of colors. So how does black this work when you have a new breed? Is it a mix of something else? It or is, how do you discover a new breed? We don't necessarily discover them. They've been around a while. Mm -hmm. It's them coming stateside, having enough ownership in the states, I having a breed you. club to protect them and having a breed standard as well and know. then they come and they become a part of the AKC after a little bit of work. I'm loving these ears. Right. <laughs> My next one's yes. for, I'm a little biased thank you very much from uh, Italy. We got the yes. Spinone Italiano. <laughs> you said it perfectly. <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> this Look is at Co this one. This is Cosi is her name. She is a beautiful oh, breed. Yeah. They're originally from Italy as you might imagine. So shy. They're all around hunting dog but now they're more of a trusted companion. They're great retrievers. Oh, that's the key. They're there great the hunters. Treats. They make excellent therapy dogs. They've got a great coat that doesn't require a ton of grooming, but you do want to make sure you keep it brushed she and keep that little scrag. She right? is. She's so amazing. Calm. Very calm. And they're a very she intelligent breed. Does she shed? Yes. I was going to yes. say, she looks like she probably Thank does. You. I love you. But with buddy. that face, do you really I mind? Don't care. You could like, make a nice no. handlebar mustache. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then we've got, of course, the Rottweiler, which is a favorite by a lot of folks. It Let's is a favorite here. by a lot of folks. Look and at this the is Carlos. On this one. Wow, He's about you're six a years big old. One. Hey, big boy. So, so this is a highly intelligent, really great breed. They're extremely loyal. They were used in Roman times as working Can you dogs. Shake? What? <laughs> yeah. Talos has a really great personality. They've got a great temperament. They do well with families, and they do require a rigorous amount That's of true. exercise. So you want to make sure that if you get this yeah. breed, you have the time to really hang out with them and uh -huh. make sure they're stimulated enough. Oh my god. And Talos will is, be at Meet the Breeze. How big is Thomas right here? He's Talos. Just, oh, Talos. just under 120 pounds. Oh, he doesn't eat much at all, does he? <laughs> yeah, he does. Real quick, we gotta get the cats out here. Yes. So oh, bring the yes, cats yes, out. Yes, yes. Let's get the cats out. This Thanks, is guys. Pavarotti and Noah, and the cats Pavarotti. are joining us at Meet the Breeze. They are American curls, and as you can see, they look a little bit different, but they're the same ears. breed. Yeah, yes, yeah. that is their trademark feature. The ears oh, wow. go back to the yeah. head a little bit to create like an open kind of expression. They're very sociable. They are and really they can great hear very well, right? <laughs> they <laughs> are. <laughs> and they, it's a no natural one, mutation. Yeah. Right. So I'm no one did anything from a straight cat in Southern California, yeah. just on our doorstep in 1981. Mm -hmm. oh. this, is, wow. this is actually yeah. one of the few breeds that is native to America. I was say, this yes. is the West so, Coast cat. Yes. yes. So yeah. it is a very beautiful breed. And as you can see, they come in two varieties. And the chocolate is actually very rare when they're showing a cat. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a and very... the tail is different on the chocolate one, right? It's really fluffy. It yeah, is, really because fluffy. it's long hair. Short hair. Uh, I got yes. All right, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. this is the long hair, and that's a short hair. What a great event. Yeah.